Well, here we are driving down to the Ernst property in Bakersfield. When this is wet, you'll just slide right off the edge. Go down into the ravine. It's a long uh, dirt road to get out to this site. It's only been open for a couple years that they've been bringing people out for uh, paleo digs. We'll be there in a few minutes. There's about 18 people going on this dig. Out here at the Ernst property. This is a, a layer that runs the length of this property. Let's see if we can work all the way along this ridge. Dig, screen, and you can see a nice bone layer over there. Not that skin. My friend Marcia and her husband Ray is just digging over there on the hill. She's been screening in this area right down here. Got herself a nice bag of teeth over here. Look at that nice big one there. That's something. I'm proud of that one. I bet. Here to dig today. Yes. <laughs> Old tailing piles from yesterday. And there's fossils all along this layer and down in this bed. But it's hard work. There's the collection. Day one. Day two. And day three, out there at the Ernst property. None of these teeth are real huge. There's a couple over two inches. These ones are about two and a quarter. A lot of nice lowers there, some nice uppers. A lot of the plainest, the hooker mako. Some very nice colorful ones from some areas. And Others are very pale, depending on the soil that they were brought out of. A lot of these teeth um, pick up the color, orange soil or black if they're near some darker minerals. Tiger shark, we've got a hemopristis, a couple of whale teeth in the middle there, long stingray barb, probably from a manta ray, piles of little teeth. Oh, um, a, few, a couple of whale teeth stuck in together with a, and a sh shark tooth behind it in a piece of real hard matrix. Over here we've got um, one of the best dolphin teeth I've ever seen. I don't know if this thing will focus on it. There, in the middle. That thin little thing that looks like a worm. and broken tusk chunk and some fish vertebrae a sea lion tooth in some matrix with a bone and a fish vertebrae also
This is a very rich area. I did a lot of screening. A lot of these teeth came from someone else's old digs, someone who was only looking for larger teeth, megalodons and such. You would hate to think that this is tailings, but everything I got on day two, right here, everything I got here came from a tailings pile that had been pushed off a hundred yards almost from where everyone else was digging. Years and years ago the cows have been trampling over this pile, but um, plenty of teeth still there. So, anyway, it was a very rich uh, dig. I brought home some vertebrae too. It's an old Mako's. There were people picking up three inch teeth at the, out there at the site. I didn't get anything over two and a half or two and a quarter. And even some of the plains, people were finding some two inch, very large. Nice whale tooth. One with an entirely worn tip. And the heartbreak of, of course, of finding a very large, you know, very large teeth with uh, an old break here where the tip is missing. Perhaps when it bit into something years ago. But um, looks very nice. I'll probably go back again.